Hello lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami, and over here we talk about all things love, relationships, and astrology. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you doing? I hope that you subscribe by the end of this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and share your thoughts, okay? So today we're going to be talking about the love language of an Aquarius. I thought this is really important. I was actually inspired by Jay Whitfield Inspires. I believe that's his YouTube channel name. I'll leave it um, below, but he talks about Virgo specifically. So if you're into that, if you're a Virgo, if you just like to hear more about Virgos, then um, go ahead and check out his channel, okay? Um, but yeah, I really wanted to discuss this because I thought this was a really great topic. So we're just going to jump right in. We're going to start off with defining each love language. I'm going to use the taco analogy because that makes me happy. And then we'll go into specifically what an Aquarius typically likes. Okay. All right. So what do we have? We have acts of service, words of affirmation, quality time, physical touch, and gifts, right? So with the taco analogy, all right. Um, what do we say? Words of affirmation. Let's start there. So with words of affirmation and the taco analogy, you would say something like, I love your tacos. You make the best tacos. Words of affirmation. You're affirming what they do with words. Okay. Gifts. I bought you tacos because I know you like them. Acts of service is very similar to gifts, but it's more so like I remember last week you said you liked the taco stand across the street. So I went over there and got the tacos. Um, I went over there and got the tacos that you said you liked. You know, it's very detail oriented. Um, what do we say? Physical touch. Hey, let's cuddle and eat tacos. <laughs> and then quality time. Hey, you want to go grab tacos? Does it, does it make sense? Do we see the differences in, in love languages? All right, now let's talk about what an Aquarius typically likes. And some they may not know that they need. Okay, so this first one might shock an Aquarius a bit and even their lovers. So um, it took me a while to truly accept that this was a part of some, well, this love language was something that was really important to me, but it is. And I'm going to tell you on a deeper level, but let's just start off with the basic understanding of air signs. You know that an air sign is an intellectual. That means we think things through. We think through our emotions. We think through our feelings. We think <laughs> we're always in our head. So this is why this love language is so critical for our relationships, for our for social settings in general, for friendships, for ourselves. Okay, because we do this to ourselves. And this is words of affirmation. I'm going to dig a little deeper because I my understanding initially was like, oh, it's just somebody complimenting me. But it's not just that. It goes a little bit deeper. So let's go deeper. <laughs> okay, so understanding words of affirmation really means that there's a clear communication happening between in the partnership. That means that they have an understanding or a direction, a sense of direction rather, of where they're going, what they're doing. There's an open and honest flow of communication. Um, and I really respect that definition. And I, I mean, I expect, I respect the other one as well, but specifically having a key understanding of where you're going and what the relationship truly looks like i think that's beautiful okay so affirming that along the way like it doesn't have to necessarily mean that you know you're complimenting your partner it could be that or it could just be just um doing that check-in and having that open communication throughout the process and throughout your journey i think it's beautiful and it's completely necessary for air signs Aquarius, let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong, we can have a conversation, but yeah, words of affirmation, key component for success in a relationship with an Aquarius. Okay, so the next one and the last one for me, um, Aquarians and cross watchers, you can let me know in the comment section if you would have chose differently, but the last one would be acts of service for me. I've mentioned this in previous videos. But I'm going to talk about it again because I think it's so important, but it's the concept of paying attention to details. Um, 
So much so that you have this awareness of your Aquarian. I think that's so hot, that's so sexy. I think um, we appreciate details because we watch it as well. We're super analytical, so we notice the small things. So to have a partner that, notice that, that notices that as well, it's just like chef's kiss, you know? That's hot. I mean, I think making life easier for us, anytime you can get us out of our heads and into our heart space of like just remembering um, details about us, I think it makes us feel comfortable, it makes us feel safe, it makes us feel appreciated um, that someone cares about us so much that they can pay attention to those small little details about us. So um, it definitely increases that um, comfortability, which ultimately provides that vulnerable component that an Aquarius takes a while to open up to. So um, yeah, <laughs> I hope that this helped. And comment what you would have chosen. I'm really curious to know. Um, thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Until next time, lovers.